More than two decades after the execution of Kent Sarawiwa, activists continue to pay tribute to the foremost environmentalist. They organized the summit in Port Harcourt to reflect on his advocacy against the backdrop of oil pollution and environmental remediation. Our correspondent Uche Okoro reports. November 1995, a dark month in Nigerian history, remembered as the time when renowned environmentalist Ken Saruwiwa and eight others were executed for trumped-up charges against the state. 25 years later, events like this not only point to the fact that his legacy lives on, but also that the changes he fought and died for are yet unattained. Have our community people learned the lessons of organizing, mobilizing, and engagements? Perhaps very little. Government at the time detested Ken and his style of struggle. Has that changed today? Perhaps again very little. Shall history be obliterated? In remembering Ken Saruwiwa, speakers say there is need to continue the work he pioneered in ensuring that oil companies are held accountable for polluting the environment. They lament that in Ogoni, the hometown of Ken Saruwiwa, oil spills persist while the authorities pay lip service to the cleanup exercise and alleviating the sufferings of affected residents. We're still unwilling to learn. We've seen that our country is being uh, stolen blind, being raped, uh, unmitigated, oil thefts going on, gas flooding going on. Why can't we learn? These are lessons that we have not learned. What we owe then today is to promote what he stood and fought for, a new world order of peace, law, and equity. Another persistent demand by stakeholders, both locally and outside the shores of Nigeria, is for the federal government to exonerate the Ogoni Nine, including Ken Saruwiwa, and clear his name of any wrongdoing. The group, the Environmental Rights Action, together with other partners and stakeholders here, have revealed plans to institute an annual Environmental Justice Award in honor and memory of two icons in the struggle, Ken Saruwiwa and Oronto Douglas. Uche Okoro, TVC News.